Today's post is going to be dedicated to my little sweet dog Mango who just passed away a couple of days ago um, due to, well, she was really getting old and she had like a collapsed trachea. So um, she, there was really nothing we could do. Um, for her and um, I waited as long as I could um, to keep her alive but then when she started just laying around and um, going to the bathroom where she was laying and she couldn't she couldn't walk anymore we decided to just let her go to end her suffering but she was a really really sweet dog <clears throat> I love her so much I'm pretty sick today sorry um, and you know I'm going to see her again so I am sad because I miss her um, her sister miss her misses her um, so you know it's just life I guess we just have to accept everything so that's what today's post is gonna be it's gonna be dedicated to little sweet mango for some reason every time I call out a plant it starts to prove me to be a liar because these lift ups I can never ever keep alive and then all of a sudden they're multiplying look at all the little buds coming out of there it's just crazy every time I call plant out it starts producing and getting healthy on me so maybe I should start calling out all my plants right <laughs> Hi guys, so today in my garden, uh, it just it's after the rain again. We have another 100% couple days of rain and my plants are just loving it. The temperature to right now is about 60 degrees. It is the 3rd of February and I noticed that this Iamium or Graptopatalum peach is Look at the new growth that's happening here. It's getting used to its location. So I, I don't think there's any reason for me to move it anywhere else. The jelly beans are jelly beans. And some uh, propagating. Um, I think these are Darley Sunshine. Um, I have my... This one is getting some insects on it, so I sprayed it with my solution that I will let you know or, uh, later on what it is. But this is my <clears throat> forever plant. It's called uh, uh, Gynura procumbens, and it is uh, supposed to be when you eat this, it's like spinach. When you eat it, it... Um, Lowers your blood pressure, lowers your your um, blood sugar for diabetic by diabe diabetics. <laughs> and if you guys want a cutting of this, let me know. These are the crassula, I think that's what it is. Not really sure. Dolphin point? I don't know. Um, but yeah, they're coming along, so they're loving this rain. And it's starting to rain again. I better stop spraying. But I can't stop spraying because the solution is only um, potent for 24 hours. So, I don't know. It depends on if the rain stops later. I can start again. But I'm going to keep going because I have the solution in the spray. It's so warm. But I just do this. Spray, spray, spray everything I'm gonna try to shake the water off so I'll do that and so to my big surprise my plants have been really thriving in this rain like everybody is all perked up perked up and overflowing with milk and honey. Just kidding. <laughs> yes. Everybody's just happy. Now stuff like this, I have to cut that off. 
and maybe take some leaves off. This is a Lola, that's a very Lola. And then remove, I try to remove all the flowers because that's where mealybugs start. And not too crazy once i get it out of control i mean once i once i get it in control then i will let the flowers bloom and just keep up with the spraying of it so yeah these containers are kind of overflowing as you can see i pulled out a whole bunch of dead leaves underneath the echeverias right there just so um when the spring comes it's not going out of control and collecting mealybugs. This one I think is needing some more water. I don't think it's getting any rain right there. So I have to take care of that. And this guy right here I'm going to spray. Try to get out of its way. Out of the way of the spray. But yeah. New concoction. See what works. You have to keep experimenting with this stuff, you know. And I believe that it's also de it also depends on the region or the zone you're in, like what infestation is available or is happening. Um, but I'm not taking a chance here in California. You know, the weather is just so crazy. Sometimes it's Sometimes it's dry, sometimes um, like this year from 2018 to 2019 is so wet. But look, how, look how nicely the Sunisha Rulianus, the string of pearls, is thriving. I'm trying to spray inside. Look at that. That's so pretty. I saw this one design. Um, garden like a garden design where this was like it was going like like right across the swimming pool right there and they had this um, nice uh, planter box in the middle like hanging and then it's like pearls going all the way across that's so beautiful if I can get that to happen but well, first I get to got to get a lot of money <laughs> to get some renovation going yeah so that's all I'm doing the solution right here is almost it's almost gone but I did get to do this area this area right here all up and down there all up and down there I need to go in that little tiny um, uh, greenhouse over there and spray it because I'm almost done and I think this is enough for that that area right there maybe my baby's over here because this only lasts like 24 hours so if you don't use it within 24 hours it loses its potency oh look at my black prince Mealy bugs. Mealy bugs don't get a chance this year. I'm not going to be neglectful this year because it was so hard to see dead um, dead plants because of the mealy bugs. But I thought it was just me, but. I've been calling nurseries and they've been having problems too. It's not like I'm the only one. Look at this unfinished Christmas tree. What's gonna do? Just a reminder, in case your mind is playing tricks on you today, you matter, 
You are important, you are loved, and your presence on this earth makes a difference whether you see it or not.